Vitamins are chemicals that are needed by your body for good health. They are vital for everyone and ensure that your body works well and is able to fight illness and heal well. Today in this video we will try to understand about vitamin D and its importance to our health. Vitamin D is important for good overall health and strong and healthy bones. It's also an important factor in making sure your muscles, heart, lungs and brain works well and that your body can fight infection. Your body can make its own vitamin D from sunlight. You can also get vitamin D from supplements and a very small amount comes from few foods you eat. The vitamin D that you get in your skin from sunlight and the vitamin D from supplements has to be changed by your body a number of times before it can be used. Once it's ready, your body uses it to manage the amount of calcium in your blood, bones and gut and to help cells all over your body. The link between vitamin D and strong healthy bones was made many years ago when doctors realized that sunlight which allows you to produce vitamin D or taking cod liver oil which contains vitamin D help to prevent a bone condition called rickets in children. Today, Vitamin D is seen as a vital part of good health and it's important not just for the health of your bones. Vitamin D isn't like most other vitamins. Your body can make its own vitamin D when you expose your skin to sunlight. But your body can't make other vitamins. You need to get other vitamins from the foods you eat. For example, you need to get vitamin C from fruits and vegetables. Also, what makes vitamin D unique compared to other vitamins is that when your body gets its vitamin D, it turns vitamin D into a hormone. This hormone is sometimes called activated vitamin D or calcitriol. Getting the right amount of vitamin D doesn't depend on the foods you eat. To get enough vitamin D, you need to expose your skin to sunlight regularly and you may also need to take supplements. This makes getting the right amount of little more complex compared to other vitamins and minerals. Some of the functions of the body that vitamin D helps are immune system that helps you to fight infection, muscle function, cardiovascular function for a healthy heart and circulation, respiratory system for healthy lungs and airways, brain development, and anti-cancer effects. If your body doesn't get enough vitamin D to keep it healthy, this is called vitamin D deficiency. Severe vitamin D deficiency can sometimes cause a condition called rickets in children and a condition called osteomalacia in adults. Both of these conditions cause soft, thin and brittle bones. Lack of vitamin D has also been linked to some other conditions such as cancer, asthma, type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, algebes and autoimmune diseases like multiple sclerosis and type 1 diabetes. Vitamin D mainly comes from your skin when it gets exposed to sunlight. After that your body goes through a number of chemical processes to change it so that your body can use it. When your skin is exposed to the sun, it produces vitamin D and sends it to your liver. If you take supplements or eat foods that contain vitamin D, your gut also sends the vitamin D to your liver. From here, your liver changes it to a substance called 25OHD. When your doctor talks about your vitamin D levels, he means the amount of 25 OHD you have in your blood. This chemical is sent all over your body where different tissues including your kidney turns it into activated vitamin D. This activated vitamin D is now ready to perform its duties. From here it gets a little complicated but you can think of activated vitamin D working in two ways. Manages Calcium in your blood, bones and gut helps cells all over your body to communicate properly. 
As you can see, vitamin D goes a long way from its original form from the skin, supplements or food. But without vitamin D, your body can't perform all its best. The most natural way to get vitamin D is by exposing your bare skin to sunlight. This can happen very quickly, particularly in the summer. You don't need to tan or burn your skin to get vitamin D. You only need to expose your skin for around half the time it takes for your skin to begin to burn. How much vitamin D is produced from sunlight depends on the time of the day, where you live in the world and the color of your skin. The more skin you expose, the more vitamin D is produced. You can also get vitamin D by taking supplements. This is a good way to get vitamin D if you can't get enough sunlight or if you are worried about exposing your skin. Vitamin D3 is the best kind of supplement to take. It comes in a number of different forms such as tablets and capsules. But it doesn't matter what form you take or what time of the day you take it. Different organizations recommend different amounts of vitamin D supplements to take each day. Most people can take vitamin D supplements with no problem. However, if you have certain health problems or taking certain medications or medicines, you may need to take extra care. So, meet your family doctor if you feel that you have vitamin D deficiency or Go for some medical test to find out what is the level of uh, vitamin D in your body. So if you like this video, please share this uh, video to your friends and family members and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching this video.